five. Where's that last one? There he is. Six. Today for Mousetrap Monday, I'll show you how to turn a simple ear of corn into a very effective mouse and rat trap. Now I first saw this trap on a website called journeytoforever.org and there it talked about how farmers in countries like Zimbabwe and Namibia have adopted the use of this trap. One farmer even caught 934 rats with 9 traps in 21 days. And they did it all with a very simple idea. They took an ear of corn, also known as maize, they ran a wire through it and hung it over a bucket of water so it became a rolling log. Then they buried the bucket at ground level, the rats would come along, chew on the seeds, they're kind of falling out right there, it would spin and they drop down. This works so well because it's not only a rolling log trap, but it's also the bait. They have to work at it to get the kernels out, and as they do, they lose their balance and fall down. So let's drill a hole through this, put wire through it, and hang it on a bucket. Here's the wire I'm going to use. I'll drill it with this long drill bit so it spins freely. Now we just need to attach it to the bucket. I placed hooks on the end of the wire to fit on the edge of the bucket. There, it spins freely. We're ready to test it out with our pet mice, but I don't want them to get hurt when they fall down. I'll give them a soft landing. Okay, the mouse will want the corn crawl out on there and it will spin and drop down just like this. It's very slippery. We'll try it with another mouse. It looks like it's gonna work well when they climb out there to chew on the seeds. It spins and they drop down. Now I do wanna test the trap out with wild mice in the barn, but I have a different setup I wanna show you. So here's how we're gonna film the spinning corn mouse trap. Usually when I film a bucket trap, I set up the motion cameras and watch the mice fall to the bottom. But in this case, I adapted it by attaching a bucket to a lid that fits on top of a 20 gallon fish tank. That way when the mice drop down, they'll be dropping into mouse paradise with a spinning exercise wheel, food and water, and a place to hide. So they're gonna wanna get caught with this trap. It's a much better experience. We're gonna set up the corn on top here, and I built some custom ramps so they can get to the trap. One on this side, and one over here. It looks like it's gonna work, so let's go set up the motion cameras in the barn and see what happens. Well, last night we caught six mice with our spinning corn mouse trap. They tried to get the bait, dropped down in the tank, and they seemed to enjoy the luxuries of the exercise wheel, food, and water. What we caught are native species. 
These are deer mice. Because they're native species and part of the natural ecosystem, we're gonna set them free. So let's go let our six mice go. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Okay mice, let's make a stampede and get out of here. They're all buried. There's one, two, three, four, five, Where's that last one? There he is. Six.